healthcare has proven to be one of the most financially challenging for most, and sadly, some people have fallen short and even gone bankrupt as a result of poor financial habits. Despite the term bankruptcy being a popular one in the financial arena, there are no laws governing the principle here in the Bahamas. That, according to former Minister of State for Finance, James Smith, who broke down what bankruptcy really is. Well, bankruptcy is... Um when a person or a business where the liabilities far exceed the assets and uh, even your loan facilities uh, have dried up on you. You're simply unable to um, get any more resources to either acquire assets, inventory, or even or pay your bills. So you, in, in, I suppose in layman terms, you're just flat broke. Now he also explained that it's a term that can be applied to companies as well. If a company, for instance, um, was selling a particular product that nobody wanted anymore and uh, they had a lot of inventory and no sales and they might have financed that inventory from a bank. So now you end up with um, a lot of stuff that you can't sell and um, uh, with uh, money owed to the bank that you can't pay off because you're not getting any sales. So sooner or later you'd have to close your doors, maybe sell off what is there and um, uh, apply the proceeds to try and cover your loan. But um, it's unlikely you would even do that. So you're pretty much um, uh, bankrupt. Could even happen in a hotel, visitors stop coming. And um, uh, sometimes you can, um, you lose business for any number of things, including increased crime. You know, if you have a store in an area that's um, uh, been hit quite often, people may stop coming to your business. And again, you've got uh, shelves full of goods that you cannot sell, um, goods that you would have borrowed money to uh, purchase the inventory from the bank. And again, the business can go under and uh, you're left um, unable to meet your uh, bills. So moving forward, what tips did Mr. Smith give for persons and company that want to avoid being bankrupt? For everybody, you've got to really get into realistic budgeting. I mean, in other words, if your business has dropped, let's say, off by 10%, you can't continue building up your inventory or spending as though you're, it's going to turn around. So you want to start cutting back, sometimes even by more than 10%. Um, some people may, for instance, um, um, in a business, let's say they get um, eight weeks of supplies. Maybe you have to cut that back to four weeks to see whether you're going to be able to sell it or not. Um, on the individual level, um, and especially if you work in the uh, tourist services industry, where you may not be working five days a week, maybe only three, that means you're going to have to at least reduce your expenditure by um, at least um, uh, two-thirds because you're not getting that full five-day um, um, pay. So you may have to, instead of buying lunch, you may have to carry your lunch. <laughs> Um, and we've already heard stories, um, particularly during this recession, where people had to uh, take kids out of uh, private schools where they pay fees, put them in the public school, um, might have to even uh, take the bus to work a couple of days as opposed to wasting gas. But there are ways in which anybody can save. You just have to sit back, realistically look at everything you spend against what is now coming in, which would be a reduced income, and uh, those things that you have control over, so-called variable expenditures, you cut back on those. Some things you can't cut back on, um, like um, the fixed payments to the bank. But even those can be renegotiated sometimes. You sit with the bank and you say to them, look, um, I was making X dollars per week. I'm only getting a half of that now. So what I need you to do is either rewrite this loan or spread it out or let me pay only interest until things get you know, back again. It's just a matter of being very realistic um, in terms of what you see coming in as income and how that has changed and then change your expenditure to meet the reduced uh, income level. Now, according to the former central bank governor, bankruptcy can lead to repossession. That's a topic we'll explore next week. So until then, I'm Sasha Lightborn, and now you know your rights. You know your rights.